Born into slavery in Kentucky, two brothers eventually escaped and settled in Jasper County to raise their families. The story of the Jasper County Derricksons begins with Elijah Jefferson Derrickson, who was from a family of free blacks from the Northeast. Elijah, born in 1827, worked as a free man on a plantation in Nicholas County, Kentucky, where he met Elizabeth Broomlett, whose mother was a slave and her father the Scottish-Irish slave master. They married in 1845 and would have four children, Joe born in 1846, William in 1854, John in 1858, and Catherine. With the enactment of the Emancipation Proclamation by President Lincoln in 1863, free men of color were able to enlist and fight for the Union Army. Elijah would enlist and join the 55th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, a colored regiment and sister regiment to the renowned 54th Volunteers. On November 30, 1864, at the Battle of Honey Hill, the third battle of General Sherman's March to the Sea, Elijah was injured and would spend much of the remainder of the war recovering. Around the same time, Elijah's oldest sons, Job and William, ran away from the Kentucky plantation and escaped into Indiana along the Underground Railroad, eventually ending up in Vigo County. Following the war, the Derrickson family would reunite near Terre Haute. In 1870, Job would marry Mary Elizabeth Roberts, and in 1880, William would marry Anna Walden, who had a mix of black and Indian ancestry. Around this same time, the patriarch of the Derrickson family, Elijah, died. According to one account, he was beheaded in self-defense by his daughter-in-law, Anna. Job and William would take both of their families and move west into Illinois. Job and Mary would settle in Jasper County, just south of the Redford Cemetery on the hilltop on the west side of the road. William and Anna would first settle in Cumberland County before moving south to Jasper. They established a farm just south of Job and Mary, and Anna's parents would eventually move to Jasper County as well. Both Derrickson families would take to farming activities, with William also serving as a blacksmith. It should be noted that a variation in the spelling of Derrickson occurred between the two families. Job's family would spell it with one R and an X, while William's family spelled it with two R's and a CK. Both Derrickson brothers would have large families. Job and Mary had 11 children. William and Anna would have 12. The children attended schools in rural Jasper County. Many would move away after reaching adulthood to other areas. Jasper, Job and Mary's son, stayed in the Newton area and married Laura Bowman in 1906. Jasper was a laborer and soon became noted for his great strength. He dug many of the sewer lines in the city of Newton and tiled out much of the river bottom. One account of his great strength occurred in 1949 when Jasper and his crew helped install a new printing press for the newspaper. While lifting some sections weighing hundreds of pounds, Jasper made the job look rather simple. Jasper and his wife Laura would die two hours apart in 1963. Their funeral was held in Newton at the St. Thomas Catholic Church with Father Gavin presiding. It was reported to have been the largest crowd ever to attend a funeral in Jasper County. They are buried in Redford Cemetery. Job and Mary, along with some of their infant children, are buried in the Dial Cemetery near Guyla. William, who often went by Jeff, would remarry following the death of Anna in 1902 but they would be reunited alongside one another in Redford Cemetery upon his passing. Both Derrickson brothers, born into slavery in Kentucky, would spend the remainder of their years raising their families here in Jasper County. <laughs>